This is the GTX 1050 Ti, which should give you 1080p 60 frames per second uh, gaming on your rig. Now, this is EVGA's super clocked version, so its base clock speed is about 1345, and uh, boosted is about 1545. Uh, you have a uh, HDMI port, uh, you've also got a DVI as well as uh, a display port. Now, it doesn't have any extra uh, power plugs, so you just basically plug it directly to the PCI slot on your graphics card. Nice, small, compact nature, which will fit, of course, into uh, HDPC. It looks really nice, and um, it's got some nice, even flow altogether. So, um, taking a closer look at what we have here and what we've actually done, gaming-wise, we're going to start off with Overwatch. Nice, simple game to play. As you can see, the settings are set at 2550 by, uh, by 1080, and uh, we're doing 60 frames per second as a set lock. So, we're going to go ahead and see how that is in pure gameplay itself. And what you'll find here is that this card does a really good job. Now, uh, at, at, 10, at uh, 1080p, uh, 60 frames per second, it really handles it very well um, altogether. Now, we are waiting to jump into a game uh, gaming session, but once you get in, you see that even in hectic gameplay, it does a very good job there. So, let's jump into some gameplay here. And clearly, you can see here we're still doing 60, even going above 60 frames per second. Let's go ahead and find some guys to actually fight and shoot and get into some of that hectic battle. And uh, yeah, we're doing about 63 frames per second average, and it handles that very well. This is what this card is built for. If you're looking to not spend a lot of money, because uh, for the GTX 1050 Ti from EVGA, it's about $159. So this is a nice budget card to throw into uh, your system, get some solid 10 uh, 1080p gaming at 60 frames, uh, and handles that very well. But you're also probably wondering, okay, so this is Overwatch. Overwatch can be played on a lot of systems. How about something like Battlefield 1? Let's see how that happens. Now we have Battlefield here, full screen, set at 2560 by 1080. Uh, we're going to move our um, graphics to, uh, let's put that auto, which sets it at medium. So medium is the best as you'd expect with this. And you can see right there, the frame rate is at 51 frames per second. And let's go ahead and jump into some gameplay here. Let's go ahead and just make sure we have everything all set again. So it's all medium. Hit back and go ahead and start playing. Now we're doing about 50, high 50s, low, low 40s, in this, some 60s. So it's range a little bit, but it will be, get to about 60 frames per second. And again, this card can handle things like this. Uh, resolution is 2560 by 1080. Give you guys a good idea that this can handle games like Battlefield for you. We're doing 59, 60 frames per second. Go ahead, stab this guy quickly. Bam, all right, let's move around, see if we can get the other guy. Actually, this back around here, but you can see the texture and detail on the map here. You can see uh, the stone gravel, you can see uh, the rocks quite well in detail, the grass. So, you've got a lot of details, not something where it just feels like, okay, look, I'm gonna drop down my specs just such as basic games. But um, this is a really nice, uh, well detailed layout from this card. So, the GTX 1050 Ti can do a lot, but I'm gonna back around here and see if I can surprise this guy quickly. Uh, let's see, just be careful. Okay, so not guys force. Let's go around the inside. All right, let's go quickly, rush in, and gonna turn around soon. Belt, good, sweet. All right, so you can see it does that well, and we're gonna get into firefight pretty soon just so you guys can get a good look at how it does with multiple uh, characters on screen, uh, lots of shooting, lots of action going on, and just gonna get our machine gun here and take it out there and just start laying out a few people. See how well this card actually handles. Oh, actually, we just switch to the turret here instead. Uh, but overall, I've been impressed with the uh, 1050 Ti. Um, you know, for a uh, solid gameplay session at 1080p 60 frames per second, this does the job quite well. You see, using the machine gun store at 59.60. So, if you're looking to pick up a card that um, is bang for your buck, won't cost you a lot of money, uh, will do 1080p 60 frames per second for you. This is the card for you to pick up. The GeForce 1050 Ti is a solid graphics card all the way through. You can pick it up now. We have our Amazon link down below. So guys, if you have any questions or any comments about the EVGA GeForce GTX 1050 Ti, let us know.